In the next few minutes, I'm going to demonstrate how to add Google Friend Connect to your WordPress blog. This is Steve Pollitt, co-founder of ManifestMastermind.com, and I'll be using ManifestMastermindBlog.com for this demonstration. I'm at the home page of Google Friend Connect. That's www.google.com forward slash friend connect. I am also lo logged in to my Google account. If you don't have a Google account, go to google.com and register for an account. It's pretty fast, pretty simple. Now we're going to proceed to set up our Google Friend Connect widget. So the first step is I click on the tab, set up a new site right here and then it tells me that I'm going to have to add two required files to my server copy some code paste onto the site and choose some features so we're going to move to the first step which is add two required files to the server the site name I'm going to pause while I enter this data Okay, I've entered the site information, Manifest Mastermind Blog, with the URL, manifestmastermindblog.com, and we go to the next step. And you'll see that Google is now telling us that we have to download and add two files to a server. And this is what I want to carefully show you. So in each case, I'm going to click on each one of these files and save these files. So it's rpc underscore relay dot html and canvas dot html now this is off the screen but I can see at the bottom of my browser that these two files have been saved and they're in my downloads folder so let me get that information up on the screen and I'll show you what's next This is the login screen for my FTP client. And so there are many FTP clients. I This particular one is Core, C-O-R-E, F-T-P-L-E. You can look up free FTP clients on Google and find many of them. All of them ask you for the same information, which is your site name, the host, username, and password. If you are not familiar with how to set up a domain name on a server, there are free video tutorials on how to do that at this site. It's bloggingforprofits.biz. Bloggingforprofits.biz. So now back at the FTP client, I've now entered in all required information, the site name, the host IP address, which is manifestmastermindblog.com, or the URL. The username is left blank for a moment, and the password. So now I'm going to enter the username and log in to the server. These are all the folders that I see when I log in to my server, and the one that I want is this public underscore HTML. So I'm going to click on that and now we have all the folders for the website and blog manifestmastermindblog.com. Okay, this is the left side of my FTP client. It could be at the bottom or the top or any position on your screen depending on which FTP client you're using. You'll notice that I have the two Google files, Canvas and RPC underscore replay, relay rather, in a folder on my hard drive. So I've saved them in a folder where I could find them. And now I simply right click on the file and I upload it. I do that again with the second file. 
and I will show you that again this is on the server each of these files canvas and RPC underscore relay are now on the server this is what Google is looking for in order to give you the code for Google Friend Connect. Okay, so we're back at the Google Friend Connect setup screen. We've downloaded each of these two files onto the server and we go to the next step. It just says test to finalize the setup. If it's done correctly, then this will work perfectly fine. And um, we're waiting and see what Google tells us. Okay, so uh, it's saying get the code for the member uh, for the member gadget. That's the Google Friend Connect gadget. So we click on get code and we go to the next step. Now on this screen you're going to have a number of options. And you'll be able to customize the colors that you want to use for your Google Friend Connect uh, widget. And you can just play around with this. Um, I've used this standard color without any modification. I've also modified it to be black, which you'll see on Manifest Mastermind. Here's where you adjust all of these colors. The um, one thing that I found beneficial, particularly with the templates that um, I'm using, is to adjust this width. The width is 282. I have found that 210 works very well. Uh, for me and you can experiment with that to suit the template that you have chosen for your uh, blog or website and so once that's done uh, we click on the button that says generate the code and let me move the screen down a little bit hopefully and what you're going to want to do is um, right click I'm sorry we're going to we're going to copy this entire code so highlight that copy and we're going to paste that code into our website so I'm going to bring up the website um, blog and show you how to paste this code so we're now back at the manifest mastermind blog and what I want to do is log into the administration panel and for any of you that are familiar with WordPress you know that what you need to do is up here in the URL bar you type wp-admin and that is the login um, URL now your login is going to be different if you're not using WordPress if you're using blogger or if you're using a website I'm using WordPress that's how I log into this WordPress based blog and what I'm looking for once I log in is under appearance there are three options and what I want is the widget option once I'm on the widget screen and this is fairly new this is a new version of uh, WordPress and what I want to do is use one of these text options uh, and I click on that and then what I'm able to do, I think I'm able to do, okay, is I go over here to my options bar, I click on the uh, text edit that I just added, and when I click on that, up comes a screen that allows me to paste the code that I picked up from Google Friend Connect. So I simply paste the code, click done, and we're good to go. It's very important if you're using WordPress to click save the changes. Otherwise, all this work that you just did to add the code into the uh, text file is going to be lost. Since I've already added this code and this blog has been active for a couple days, there are already friends connecting uh, with me on this particular blog, and, and you can see that right in this section here. 
In another video, we will be showing you how to add friends to your Google Friends and add social networks to your Google Friends widget. I hope you found this training valuable. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Facebook. Again, good luck and get your Google Friends Connect widget on your site, on your blog, as soon as possible. It will help you tremendously.